All right, this video is to walk you through finishing up the print job. So after the completion, you're gonna get a screen that looks like this with a green check mark. Uh, if you click that, it'll say confirm removal. You don't wanna click that button until you've removed the part that is printed. So to remove the part, you wanna open up the door and then put both of the spring switches in the front and then grab the sides of the glass base slide it directly forward. Don't lift up until it's released from both of the clips in the rear, left and right. Once it's released, you can pull the whole thing out, you can close the door, and then inside the 3D printer drawer, there's several tools that can assist with removal. Um, I like either the small scraper or actually this is designed specifically for removing uh, objects from a 3D printer uh, build plate. Uh, it's got nice rounded edges and it's got this sort of 90 degree orientation so you can really get it flat and underneath. So I'll show you this one. Um, my guess is this is not very rigorously attached. So uh, in this case, that just came right off. But in the event that it was very um, solidly attached to the build plate, you could sort of wiggle this under each of the edges and then slowly pry this off. Um, after you've done that, whatever your adhesion method was um, might still be stuck. So in this case, I used a skirt. So you can see this very thin single line. I'm gonna remove that. And then the last step is to clean the build plate here. So always use glass cleaner. If you use solvents like isopropanol or methanol or hexanes, uh, they actually won't remove the glue. This works wonderfully. So just spray this on there, let it sit for 5-10 seconds. Um, if you have a really thick layer of glue, you'll want to let it sit for maybe 20 or 30 seconds. This is a pretty thin layer. So at that point, I can just go ahead and scrub this down. You'll see if you have a lot of glue on here, it'll sort of just get moved around. So it may take you a few um, a few passes where you'll have to spray a little bit more of the glass cleaner. I'll spray a little bit more on there. Clean this up. Careful here not to drop this plate. It's pretty expensive. Um, sometimes the back can get a little dirty too. You want to make sure that's pretty clean so that it's flat on the build plate. So there's a couple little areas to clean that up. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to open this back up. Again, anytime you're inserting the build plate, you want to insert it very flat. You do not want to insert it at an angle like this because it'll bend the clips in the back. So I have it flat, slide it forward, align the edges, slide it under the clips, swing around the front clips like this. And once you're done, now you can click Confirm Removal and you're good to go.